Philip the Chicken Manchester, born on April 21, 1924, was a prominent figure in the Philadelphia Mafia and served as the boss of the organization for a brief period. Known for his charismatic personality and strategic approach, Testa played a significant role in the criminal underworld of South Philadelphia. Philip Testa was born and raised in South Philadelphia, an area known for its strong Italian-American presence and organized crime. He grew up in a working-class family and became involved in street gangs during his youth. Testa's criminal career began in the 1950s when he joined the Philadelphia crime family, also known as the Bruno crime family, which was headed by Angelo Bruno at the time. Testa quickly earned a reputation as a tough and capable enforcer. He rose through the ranks of the organization, displaying leadership qualities and a shrewd business sense. Tester was known for his meticulous attention to detail and a knack for avoiding unnecessary attention from law enforcement. In 1980, Angelo Bruno was assassinated, leading to a power struggle within the Philadelphia crime family. As the underboss, Philip Tester became the heir apparent to the throne. However, his ascension to the top was not without obstacles. Rival factions, including the Scarfo crime family, sought to seize control of the organization. Tester took over as boss of the Philadelphia Mafia in 1981, facing the challenging task of maintaining order and unity within the ranks. He was known for his emphasis on traditional Mafia values, such as loyalty and respect, and attempted to stabilize the organization after years of internal strife. Under Tester's leadership, the Philadelphia Mafia continued its involvement in various criminal activities. The organization had interests in illegal gambling, loan sharking, extortion, and labor racketeering. They also maintained control over several legitimate businesses, using them as fronts to launder money and legitimize their operations. Tester was keen on maintaining a low profile and avoiding unnecessary attention from law enforcement. He emphasized the importance of conducting business discreetly and discouraging unnecessary violence. His strategic approach earned him the respect of many within the organization and solidified his position as boss. On March 15, 1981, just a little over a year after taking over as boss, Philip Tester's life was abruptly cut short. As he approached his South Philadelphia home, a bomb concealed beneath his front porch detonated, killing him instantly. The assassination shocked the city and sparked a new wave of violence and instability within the Philadelphia Mafia. The attack on Tester was later revealed to be orchestrated by rival mobsters from the Scarfo crime family, led by Nicodemo Little Nicky Scarfo. The motive behind the assassination was a desire to gain control of the organization. The Scarfo faction saw Tester as a weak leader and sought to exploit the power vacuum. Philip Tester's assassination marked a turning point in the history of the Philadelphia Mafia. His death led to an era of heightened violence and internal strife within the organization. The Scarfo crime family took over, leading to a period of brutal bloodshed and increased scrutiny from law enforcement. Despite his relatively short reign, Philip Tester's impact on the Philadelphia Mafia was significant. His assassination marked the beginning of a turbulent era within the organization characterized by internal power struggles and violence. The Scarfo crime family, which orchestrated Tester's murder, rose to power and brought about a period of intense bloodshed. Tester's leadership style, rooted in traditional mafia values, left a lasting impression on the organization. His emphasis on loyalty, respect, and careful decision-making served as a model for future leaders. Additionally, his assassination highlighted the dangers and risks associated with leading a criminal organization, further cementing Tester's legacy within the annals of organized crime history. In conclusion, Philip Tester's life and tenure as boss of the Philadelphia Mafia were marked by his strategic approach, strong leadership, and ultimate tragic demise. His influence on the organization and the subsequent power struggles that followed his assassination shaped the trajectory of the Philly Mafia in the years to come. Now as always, we would like to know what you think about this video down below in the comment section. Also don't forget to like the video. Share the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel please. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Cheers.